Hey, what's going on everybody? East Tactics here. The reason why I wanted to make this video, guys, was because I wanted to show you, I wanted to give you a little bit of advice about <clears throat> making sure that you have a nice dry seat between the, the gear and the plastic housing and also to show you this better branded uh, gasket you can get from eBay I couldn't find him um, on like Amazon or anything like that and I didn't really find a website that was specific where we can just buy direct from his website but I did find him on eBay so I wanted to tell you that and then I also wanted to let you know that you should let these things sit couple of different ways like I'm gonna let it sit this way for a few hours and then I'm gonna come back and check to see if it's kind of glossy and shiny again back under under this and then I'm also gonna let it sit this way and come back and I'm gonna inspect around here to make sure that there's no leakage and just really just get a thorough inspection before I put it back in to make sure that there is no leakage anywhere um, I'm really hoping that after having these Tech Joe gaskets that my concerns are going to be lessened in the future, but for now, because the last thing that you want is for there to be a slow leak in your, in your diff, and over the course of a few days or a few weeks that you pretty much lost all the oil in your diff house and you're running bare dry in there and you're just looking for trouble. So, anyway, that's all I wanted to say, guys. Um... I um, noticed that after I had put a heavier weight diff oil in it, that it was leaking, and I could see the differential fluid kind of seeping out of the seams around this section here which is where the normal gasket would go so I took it apart and I found out that the stock gasket was had a, had a tear in it and this is the stock gasket right here and as you can see there's a tear there it's about ready to tear here where my right here it's about ready to tear again and so I wanted to show you guys something that I highly recommend as far as a, a better tactic for your gaskets for your differentials there's a guy out of Canada that actually makes a really good quality gasket instead of picking up repicking up the stock gasket here and his name is Tech Joe you can find him on eBay and here's a, a bag of gaskets that uh, he sells and they're about five or six bucks for six of them yeah for six of them and these gaskets I feel like are a little bit better than your stock your stock gaskets and after taxes I think it was like ten bucks to get it to get it shipped here and he's pretty quick about shipping I mean it's coming from Canada so I ordered it on Monday and it arrived on Friday. So anyway, I just wanted to stress the importance of making sure that you get a close look after you get these diffs back in and put back together that you've got enough oil. So I noticed this one was leaking so as you can see right now it's low and so I'm going to put a little bit more oil in it. I also noticed that At each one of the points here where the screws go in, from just going in, you can see a slight burr here. You can see it kind of raised here. It was a little bit worse, and I took a razor blade and tried to like shim that down and just uh, without without damaging it, I would really carefully. You can kind of see on this one, 
I took a little bit off and I could probably go to do it a little bit more. However, I think the important thing is just having a, a better gasket on here. So you want to make sure that it's dry, that this surface here is as dry as, as, dry as possible. And just real quick, I thought I'd, I'd go over some of the, the internal diff since you can see it. You can see that there is a shim in between this metal piece and the actual gear. If you look really close, you can see there's a tiny shim in there. You see it better right there. So there's one shim on all four. Um, some people have talked about the idea of putting two shims and then one shim, and then two shims and one shim to tighten up your differential. And while I don't think that's a bad idea, I noticed that after I had put in, after I had put everything back together on mine, that there was a little bit of there was a little bit of uh, resistance that wasn't fr coming from the actual diff fluid thickness. And so I went back in and I took those shims out and I think it's because the shims that I put back in after replacing the stock ones, the Mugen Seiki shims, are just like a fraction of a hair thicker, each of them. So between this Mugen Seiki EO206, this is a, a set of shims for inside the diffs. Both the, the smaller shims for um, shimming the actual smaller gears and then the larger shim for going right behind the main gear in there. I forget the name of it. But either way, this kit has both of those gears. From what I understand, the 2019 version 4, they did shim the inside of the diffs. Um, but if they'd failed to, then you can get it done right. And there's lots of YouTube videos on how to shim those diffs as, as, as well as putting the thicker diff oils in. Um, but if you've got the version 3 or older, then you're going to want to put these shims inside your diff housing to tighten up, tighten it up, and to add to longevity. Placing the stock ones, the Mugen Seiki shims, are just like a fraction of a hair thicker each of them. So between putting four of those in, it's kind of the equivalent of putting in the two, the two one, two one scenario. That's my guess. So for now, right for right now, I'm just sticking with doing one shim on each of these. Um, so right now, I'm going to go ahead and fill it up with a with a little bit more of the five or the 2,000 weight oil. So I'll show you that. How about I get a little bit closer in for you? So here's the diff fluid that I've decided to go with on the center differential. 200,000 CST. This stuff's really thick and you can actually get an idea of how thick it is. When I push this up you're gonna see it literally keeps its shape. It's insane. And this is just 200,000. Many people like to go with 500,000 weight in the center and I've even heard of people going one million weight in the center, which is pretty thick. So I'm gonna go ahead and top this off. It's actually going to take a few minutes for that just to settle down and flatten out. Being careful not to get this ridge wet because I want to keep it as dry as possible for when I put the gasket on. As you can see it's kind of seeping out right there, right there a little bit which it's not a huge deal but I just want to make sure when, before I put my my lid on that I eliminate as much as possible because I want that to be a dry gas that seal to be as dry as possible. 
but do not want it to leak. So having another close look at this, I could probably put a little bit more in there, but I think that's that's plenty. I mean, you have to take you have to take into consideration this gear is going to be resting in there, and you don't want once you cinched this thing down over the top, you don't want this gear to push oil and make it and make it too tight, because then you're going to have an increased likelihood of leaking. Kind of line up those holes. So line those up. Now you can use a drill if you want, but I like to use a hand wrench to basically get them started. Just so I'm comfortable that it's not stripping or going in improperly. And then to kind of speed things up, Make sure I, I go in with a hand tool to get the final tightening. And you want it to be nice and tight to have confidence that the pressure between the two and the gasket is sealing properly. Now I've got it all back together. So I'm not 100% sure if the leak is actually happening between or down the shaft and up on the inside of the of the bearing here. So I'm just going to dry it off really well and then I'm going to let my my diff sit for a few hours um, with this end that's got what looks to be the leak facing downward to see if, uh, in, if in fact the leak is coming from, from there and if it is then I'll basically take it back apart and find out what's going on with the, the gasket that's inside there because there might be a, an issue there. So anyway, that's all I wanted to say guys, I um, hope this video is helpful, if, it, if it's been helpful, go ahead and give it a like for me and uh, subscribe, hit the bell if you want to see future videos from me, out.